Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be doing a little makeup testing video of all the products that I bought in my drugstore haul, which was my previous video. So go check that out if you haven't already and let's get into the video. First off, I'm just gonna be putting some lip balm on just to hydrate my lips ready for lipstick later. So today I'm gonna to be using the Vaseline Sugar Coated Limited Edition pot um and this is what it looks like it smells really nice different from the normal vaseline but yeah i just put this on put this on my lips my lips are quite problematic they're so dry at the moment um but vaseline helps the first new product i'm going to be testing out for you guys is the vitamin c invigorating skin booster um so you apply this and then you apply moisturizer i've already cleansed my skin so it looks like this it's like a dropper a pipette um so we're gonna put that on my face hang on oh, it's gonna drop everywhere i do enjoy a pipette oh it's going <laughs> uh, smells really good okay so it's quite thick just rub it in. It smells like oranges. What I mean, vitamin C. Yeah, makes sense, doesn't it? The next product that I'm trying out is the brightening eye gel from that same vitamin C range. Um, so this is a rollerball sort of eye gel thing. I have tried a rollerball eye gel, I think, from Simple. Um, and that was really nice, but let's see what this is like. I guess you just roll it under your eyes. This one doesn't smell like the serum does. It's very cooling. I'm just going to pat it in. Ready for moisturiser. So those two products, they seem to sort of... They've sunk in really quickly, actually. The serum has not left any sort of tackiness, but it has left... A lot of glow. <laughs> I'm gonna be going in with some moisturizer um, and the moisturizer that I use every single day is the Olay Complete Lightweight Day Fluid and it looks like this. I don't know if that very bright um, and I use this every day it's really great. Put some on the back of my hand and then I just dot it around my face and I also put this on my neck so nose so yeah, just rub it all in. So that's all rubbed in. And then the excess, I just rub together in my hands and I just wipe it down my neck. I think necks are what gets neglected the most and people forget to moisturise their neck. We're all moisturised and serumed up. So the next thing we will do is some primer. Um, I don't always use primer, but when I do, I use the the Ordinary High Spreadability Primer. And I find this is really nice. It's sort of very silicone-y, um, but it really smooths out your skin and just gets rid of any sort of bumps and lumps and dry patches. So when I put on my foundation, it, it shouldn't cling to anything. Um, so that's really good. It's also in a pipette thing. So with this, I put it on the back of my hand first and then I'll put it on my face. So. Yeah, I've put some a few drops on the back of my hand and then I'll put it on my face. The foundation that I'm going to be using today is the Bourjois Healthy Mix Serum and I spoke about this a bit in my last video. I have used this product before but not for a very very long time. Um, so it will be good to use it again. I know that I really like it. So it comes in a pump, it's a glass bottle. I just do a few pumps on the back of my hand. It's very, it's quite liquidy. I always use a sponge to blend my makeup. This is the Real Techniques face and body sponge, which is why it's so giant. But I just find it's so much quicker than the small version of this. Um, so I just dab it and then I just pat it on. Oh, it smells so good. It smells so good. Okay. Blends out really easily as well. Like 
seamless. It's just light to medium coverage, I'd say. But I don't ever really like wearing heavy coverage foundations for my skin. It just works better if I have light to medium. I don't remember it being glowy. I like it, but I thought it was not as chewy as this. I can tell you what it smells like. It smells like sun cream, but like kids' sun cream, and it, I really like the smell. It's a bit apricot-y. I think it smells like apricot. Hmm. Yeah, it's good, it's good. That's all nicely blended into my skin. Um, that was really easy. It just sort of blended in straight away and it's left a nice sort of glowy finish on my face. The next product I'm gonna be testing out is the Barry M All Night Long Concealer. Um, and this is in the shade Milk. Um, it's a full coverage concealer and I've heard very good things about it. So let's give it a try. Well, that is very brightening, isn't it? That's like white. Okay, I probably, maybe I should have gone for a shade down. Oh well, that's quite pink toned, I'd say. Do I like this? Oh no, I don't know if I, I don't know if I like this or not. Okay, let's keep blending. Just keep blending. Well, this is, it dries quite quick, but let's just keep, let's just work with this. Work with the colour, work with the product. That's all blended in. Um, up close, it has covered my dark circles, kind of, and brightened up a lot, but it does look like it could end up being quite dry under my under eyes. Um, but we're just keeping an eye on that. Um, I am going to powder because I get really creasy. This isn't a new product, but the powder I'm going to be using is the Rimmel Clear Complexion Powder. Um, and it's in the shade Transparent. And I use this sort of every single day. I really like it. It's a really affordable powder. And yeah, so I just dot, dab that under my eyes. Just a really light sweep. I'm also going to just sweep a bit of powder over the rest of my face because I'm going to be going in with more powder products and I don't want it to cling to anything. So again with the same powder I'm just going to dust a bit all over my face. I especially focus on my t-zone and around my nose because it gets the most oily. Right, so we're powdered, we're foundationed, we've concealed. Next, I'm gonna do my brows. So in my drugstore haul, you saw me pick up the Natural Collection Brow Pencil. And I have actually used this many times before and I have got one on the go. So I'm gonna use this one instead. Um, but it's the same product and it's tried and tested. I absolutely love it. So I'm just gonna fill those in lightly. I tend to focus more on the tail end of my brow and I don't, fill them in that much. I used to, I've had a very bad brow period in my life, but now I just prefer a much more natural looking brow. And I just spoolie the product through. I do find it really hard to do the front of my brows because I don't really have that much hair, so to make it look sort of nice and natural. Brows on. If you, as you can see, they're not really extreme brows, but they are good for what I want at the moment. After I filled in my brows with the pencil, I like to go in with some brow mascara, and my favourite is the Maybelline Brow Drama, and I have used this many times before. The wand is a bit weird. It's slightly... But I find that it works really well, and it doesn't disperse too much product, because some wands, I find, disperse loads of product, and then you get big gloopy bits in your brows um, but this doesn't do that so it just sets it it doesn't add too much I don't think too much color but it does set them so that's a really good product if you are looking for a brow mascara right on to eyes so I'm just going to zoom you guys in a tiny bit more for my eyes I'm not a makeup artist I just do really really simple eye looks I don't 
go crazy. I just do a wash of colour and that's pretty much it. So let me just zoom you guys in and I will do my eyeshadow. As you may have seen in my makeup haul, I picked up the Makeup Revolution eyeshadow palette in the Reloaded Neutrals 2. Um, and this is some really lovely pinky tones and a few shimmers. For my eyeshadow, I always just use three brushes pretty much. Um, I think this is called the Dulux Crease Brush and it's quite big and it literally, you just do a wash of colour. It's really quick, I love it. Um, I use the number 8 BH Cosmetics brush, it's sort of flat topped and I just use this for the outer corner of my eye. I don't know if that's what it's for but I do. Um, and then I use the accent brush, really small brush just for under my eyes and maybe slightly on the outer corner if I'm trying to be a bit more fancy with my eyeshadow. But in general, three brushes, wash of colour, it's very easy. Before we get into the eyeshadow, I did actually buy a brush sanitizer spray. Um, from Superdrug and I thought this might be a good time to test it out. So this is meant to cleanse and sanitise your makeup brushes and dry really quick. What you do is you shake it, get the brush, you spray it, or I hope this doesn't smell really bad. Spray it and then you get some like a cotton bud or something and you're meant to massage it in. Okay, so that is actually working. The brush itself doesn't look that much cleaner, but you can see that loads of products coming off and it's meant to be antibacterial and stuff. So I'm not too fussed that the brush doesn't look that clean. It's quite a strong smell, kind of like hairspray. But um, let's see if that dries really quick. So this brush I'll be using second, so it can wait and see. I'm not gonna put it on the other brushes because I need to use them right now. Um, so, going in with this palette and this Dulux crease brush, I'm going to dip into a matte shade. So, what I'm going to do, I don't actually know what the names of these shadows are, but I'm going to be using this shadow here, um, this shadow here, all over my eye. <laughs> um, I need to so, use that shadow all over my eye. It's a nice colour, nice easy wash of pink, it seems to be blending alright, nothing too dramatic. I think that actually looks quite a nice colour, um, I'm going to just do it to the second eye. My eyeshadow looks very simple, so I've done a wash of that all over my eyelids and then what I'm going to do Let's go in with a slightly darker shade. With that brush we just cleaned, is it dry? It is dry. It's a dry, cleaned, antibacterialized brush. <laughs> um, but I'm gonna use the shade. What shade should I use? Okay, so I'm gonna be using this shade up here. This shade on the outer corner. Um, Oh, a lot of product has just picked up on the brush, so I hope this isn't too intense. I might have to grab a clean blending brush if it is. So, what I'm going to do is I just dab this on the outside of my eye. Oh, it is, it's quite intense colour, that is. Very pigmented, very pigmented. Um, okay, hang on, I'm going to just disperse it on the other eye as well. I'm going to blend all that out with the original crease brush um, so it doesn't look as intense and scary. Okay, a bit more diffused. Um, and then what I'm going to be doing is I always just add a sort of shimmer right on the centre. So what shimmer should I use today? The shimmer I'm going to be using is this one here and I always apply sort of shimmery eyeshadows with my finger. I just find it gives you the most pigment in the quickest way. So yeah, that's how I'm gonna be doing it. So I've got a bit on my finger and I just pat this right in the center of my eye. So it just adds something a little extra. Again on the other eye, very easy eye looks. But I like quick and easy. Okay, so 
so the top of my eyelid is done um so for my lower lash line what i like to do is just use sort of the first color we used in the crease under the whole lash line and then i'll add slightly darker on the outer corner so going back in with it's really hard to direct your brush this shade going in with this shade just on the lower lash line um it's sort of not too dark but it might add something Okay, so I've added that, that shade on the lower lash line and now I'm just going to go in with the colour we used on the outer corner, which was this shade. Just a really tiny bit on the outer corners of my lower lash line because it just sort of defines it that tiny bit more but not overdoing it. So let's... So I've just added that to my lower lash line as well. So this is what my eyes look like at the moment. And I probably won't add that much more to my eyes. Sometimes I add mascara and eyeliner, but I'm only going to my parents' house for lunch today, so I might not. Now moving on to the powder face products, I'm just gonna slightly bronze up slash contour my face a bit using the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring palette um, now this is obviously a tried and tested I've hit pan on the banana -y shade um, I tend to set my under eyes with that but not every day today I didn't but um, yeah this shade is it's sort of cool to contour but also warm enough to bronze if you're too lazy to do both which I tend to be taking the bronzery contour -y shade on this brush um, I'm just going to do that on my cheeks. I do it, I tend to just use it as bronzer more than contour because I'm not very good at contouring. And I do a very light because I don't like having really heavy makeup. So I just do everything as light as possible. Probably can't even see that I've put anything on, but I have. I've put a tiny bit on. That is about as much contour slash bronzer that I'll put on on a day-to-day -day basis. It's barely anything but it just adds I think a tiny bit of dimension to my face um now going in with blusher now blusher is something that I do really love and I probably pile way too much on the blush I picked up in my haul was this natural collection powder blush in apricot dream um it looks like this it's quite bright um so what I tend to do is use a more subtle blush for like the whole of my cheek and then just pop something like this right on the apple so the blush I'm going to be going in with first is this oh, the blush I'm going to be going in with first is the gosh natural blush in rose whisper and it, it's very neutral very neutral but I like having this as sort of like a base to the other blush so going in with that I'm just going to pop this sort of on the apple slash slightly going up my cheekbone. So I just do it sort of on top of where I've just put bronzer. But it just adds a nice base before I put in the brighter blush. Okay, so base blush down. Now I'm gonna go in with a tiny bit of the Apricot Dream Blush from Natural Collection. Not tried this before, but I have tried other blush blushes from the Natural Collection range, and they've always been really great and nice and pigmented. A nice little bit and tap it off. Um, and then this will just go on the very apples of my cheeks. So, Well, that's a really nice sort of pop of color, I think. Okay, so that's probably enough for that side. Yeah, I really like that. That's a really nice sort of addition. 
Yep, that can stay in my collection. That is a really lovely blush colour. The final powder face product that I'm going to be using is highlighter. So this is a palette that I've had for a while now and it's the Revolution Ultra Pro Glow palette. And I just find that this has a lot of shades that I can be versatile with. Um, so today I'm just going to be using this slightly pinky shade and it sort of more of as a blush topper. So I'm just going to put that on the high points of my cheeks. That is all the powder face products that I'm going to be using today. Um, I don't think I'm going to go back and add anything to my eyes, but we will move on to the final step, which is lips. The two lip products that I picked up that are new to me are the Natural Collection 2-in-1 Lip Liner and Lipstick and the Natural Collection Lip Gloss. Um, and I'm going to be pairing these two together today on my lips. Going in with the lipstick lip liner. This is in the shade Barely There. This is in the shade Barely There. Um, I'm just gonna put this all over my lips. This is very easy to apply and it's really creamy. Okay, that's the lip liner lipstick, really easy to apply, really creamy. Um, I don't think it's going to be a long lasting formula, but then it was under £3 and if it gives me a nice colour for a little while, I'll be happy and I'll just top it up when I need to. And then finally, going in with the lip gloss, um, this is in the shade Peach Kiss. It looks very bright. is the lip gloss on. The lip gloss actually doesn't feel sticky at all. Right so that is all the makeup I'm going to be putting on today. Let me just put my hair down and we'll see what it actually looks like. Okay so this is the finished makeup look with the new products that I've bought recently. Um, yeah I quite like it. I really actually really like the eyeshadow. It was really pigmented and the colours are just perfect for what I wanted. The lip combo is actually, yeah, loving it. Um, my my face looks really nice and glowy. I think that's mainly due to the foundation. Um, and I really like that pop of blush. We'll have to see how the concealer wears and see if it does settle into fine lines. Let me just have a look. Mm. At the moment, the concealer looks like it's doing quite well. I, I, I do worry that it could be a bit drying, but right now, fresh face makeup. I am very happy with all the products that I've bought. Um, so yeah. Thank you so much for watching this little makeup testing video. I really hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!